On Saturday night, Congress President Sonia Gandhi's son-in-law, Robert Vadra, was at a plush hotel in Delhi attending the launch of a modern fitness equipment uh, of modern fitness equipment for high-end gyms. But when faced with questions on the DLF land deal, Robert Vadra left completely stumped. And so angered was he by that question that he shoved the reporter's microphone aside and aggressively asked him four times, are you serious? See for yourself exactly what happened. Mm, where health is concerned, I'm always uh, promoting it for my friends, and uh, they have the best machines today. And it's uh, a very uh, promising place, and uh, health is everything, so I would definitely recommend for most people to be here and partake and understand the machines. Uh, they're internationally recognized, and it's uh, very good if you run or uh, it has uh, less effect on your. I mean muscles, I mean in your bones and everything, so it's uh, overall, it's, it's uh, definitely a new promising place. I don't think we see these machines anywhere else in Delhi. Sir, how would you comment on the government touching to, you know, investigate all the land deals? I mean, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? It's a mistake. Sir, 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 no, sir, these questions are being asked. Put your camera off. Are you nuts? What's wrong with you? Are you serious? Are you nuts? You're an idiot. That's the kind of language a reporter must face only for asking a pertinent, relevant question. The reporter was from ANI and its editor, Smita, is now, Smita Prakash is now live with us. Also with us is Satipal Jain of the BJP and Sanjay Jha of the Congress. As a citizen, Sanjay Jha, will you condemn what happened yesterday night at the Ashoka Hotel? Do you think it's entirely condemnable, the kind of behavior, the kind of language that was on display? Uh, Padmaja, they say a camera doesn't lie. And I'm glad at least Times Now has had the decency to play out a little extended tape than what was being sensationalized yesterday. If you hear the question, the first question asked to Mr. Robert Vadra is about the event for which he's there last evening. Now, you know that he was there for, as a private citizen for a private event, and this is a totally private matter. The ANI, and I go on ANI quite often, I can tell you that, cannot afford to be a paparazzi. You cannot no, no, no. go to Sanjay, an, Sanjay, uh, why Padmaja, is it paparazzi behavior what? We're supposed to ask only scripted questions. Padmaja, so you called for a, for a fitness equipment event, you'll ask only fitness equipment related questions. Smita, would you want to respond to well, that? Well, uh, Padmaji, I haven't finished. If you're asking, if Mr. Modi is talking about black money, Will you ask him about, at that point, about his role in the Gujarat massacre of 2002? I mean, you also know, Padmaja, you as a serious uh, yes. television journalist, there are certain occasions that demand certain answers. I'm not even getting into the allegations against Mr. Vadra because they've been dismissed by the several courts of India, including the Supreme Court. But is Times Now and all other channels today encouraging a paparazzi culture? Why is it paparazzi culture? It is. How, How is you it have, paparazzi like, culture? No, one minute. How there is you a go? legal case. Have you, the have you heard that when he, will when he was asked a question? The journalist simply says, finish? do you have to respond? Can, can I the finish? Haryana government has said, we are going to investigate it. Smita, I think it's well, only well, for you coming One point, down. when he was let, asked let, a question about the gym, to this he gave a very clear, Sanjay, he gave a very forthright answer. But when the question was changed dramatically to surprise him, he had every right to feel upset about it. I think okay, it's so about the, time was, you guys woke up to a reality devious yeah. plan that, that Times Now cannot be propagating of, of, of a paparazzi culture Mr. in India. Uh, all of a sudden? Yeah, this is quite bizarre what uh, Mr. Jha is saying that this is paparazzi. Uh, and in fact, one of, uh, um, one of the defenses was that look what happened to Princess Diana. Firstly, uh, Mr. Vadra is not a prince and we are not paparazzi. A absolutely accredited journalist uh, with the P Press Information Bureau. And uh, nobody limits anybody to any questions in this country. We are in a free country, free media. I don't know which country Mr. Jha lives in. Now, in, uh, as far as the limiting questions is concerned, whether it's Mr. Modi or whether it is Dr. Manmohan Singh, nobody has told us that you cannot ask questions uh, relating to any riots. Mr. Uh, uh, Ms. Dr. Manmohan Singh has answered question on 84 riots and his silence and uh, Mr. Modi has answered question on uh, Gujarat riots 
and Swachh Bharat. No reporter to, till today has been told even by a Prime Minister of this country that you cannot ask me this question. So I can't for the life of me understand how uh, Mr. Jha says that you cannot, uh, you can only ask certain questions. And also the defense that Mr. Vadra puts up about a private uh, reporter of, uh, of, this, uh, of this event. There is nothing called private reporter in this country. I don't understand what a private reporter means. Exactly. Were you expecting them to act like a private reporter, Sanjay Jha, that you come, ask me a scripted question, I will wax eloquent about the fitness equipment and then you'll have to go your way and the moment an inconvenient question comes around, you're an idiot just for asking that, that question. Well, since Smita Prakash interviewed Mr. Narendra Modi from what I remember during the election, and since you and she and many members of the fourth estate seem to be very much up in arms since last evening, I want to ask you a question, Smita. Have you ever asked the Prime Minister of India, why did he call you, Times Now and all the other channels of India and even other establishments as news traders? The Prime Minister of India has the least respect for the fourth estate and please accept it. He treats you with contempt. You have no access to information today with this government there. You have a stealthy emergency in India. And when he humiliates you, when Nitin Sanjay, Gadkari goes during the Maharashtra election and talks do, about do, do giving you, facts, you, Sanjay, packages to journalists, this into why are you quiet, attack? Smita Prakash? Why are you quiet? Why such a dubious silence? Mr. Jha, are you I agreeing with Mr. The, Modi Mr. that you are a news Mr. trader? Jha, Is Mr. a paid Jha, media allegation a reality? Are you accepting Mr. that? Mr. Jha, I am... Mr. J Mr. Jha, I am not a spokesperson for the Prime Minister of India. I am not a spokesperson for the Prime Minister's office. So you, you I'm accept not a the fact that the Prime the Minister BJP. ridicules the fourth I cannot state. speak on, I cannot speak, I cannot, can I, can I just complete what I have to say? Sure. I do not speak on behalf of any of them. I speak on behalf of the media, which was attacked. If you can see the visual, we were told, delete this. On what basis does Mr. Vadra have the right you haven't answered to detain my questions, our Smita. cameraman and You haven't answered and my question. Has and the media say, as, questioned as the as, Prime Minister as, of India for I, calling I'm them the news to... traders? Please answer the question. Can Don't I dodge just it. complete? Why are you dodging Can it? I just complete? Can he I believes just that the fourth Firstly, estate is was... a paid media. Can I... He believes Hello? the fourth estate is a paid media. Give me an opportunity to speak, Mr. Ja, as usual. You just, as usual, you just throw questions and never ja. listen to res responses. What I'm trying to say to you is that that Mr. Modi, when he said that, was not Prime Minister of India. He was on a campaign and everybody asked is that him your these defense? questions and he did not. Is that your defense? I, I'm, I, again, again what you... Again, what the Congress finds, like Ms. <coughs> Renuka Chaudhary found this entire thing very, very funny and you people mm. continue to laugh about Absolutely. the incident Absolutely. And Sanjay, you yourself are sidestepping the, the simple question that, that I asked yesterday. you. Do you think this kind of behavior, not only attacking the reporter, calling him names, shoving his mic aside, but even illegally detaining him for a full 15 minutes, having some footage of his wiped out, you think that is acceptable? It's excusable? Uh, Padmaja, did you see the humility and the grace and the civility with which he answered the first question on because the was, gym because that he went to inaugurate yesterday? Him, Sanjay, because that is what him. he was expecting the channel or humility what he believed was an internal video humility photographer. And, grace. and one minute, one language. minute, let me finish. Let we are finish. not asking questions if today, which are expected Smita Prakash, out of us. Let us not be sanctimonious and self-righteous here. Let us have a very transparent debate, ma'am. Are you willing to tell the people of India that the press trust of India exposed Mr. Narendra Modi as the Chief Minister of Gujarat, pushing a journalist who fell down on the ground when he was questioned on the best bakery probe being restarted by the Supreme Court? He was the Chief Minister of Gujarat, not a private citizen. Will you talk about it? No, no, Will you it mention was in the that? papers. That it was is the, the kind papers. of attitude Those questions of Indian were asked politicians even then. today why like do you the keep avoiding my simple why question? Why are you trying to yes no the real question, issue? Sanjay Jha. Is it acceptable for a private individual to manhandle a reporter, illegally detain him and his video journalist and make them take off their footage? Is it acceptable according to you? Padma Jha, my yes answer no to your question is you have every answer has to be given in a context. Answers are not black and white. And in I can what tell you yesterday, you illegally yesterday was a, a right to privacy and ask anybody, everybody in this country. I have a right, by the way. You can't come to my house and force a camera on my face Satipal and expect Jain, me to answer think, the question. Do you think it's I have a right to privacy, I have a right to freedom of expression, like this. just like the Nobody media thought. has, I have a right to my freedom as a the, citizen the, of this the country. The action, the action, <coughs> Mr. Sanjay Jai now, please, please Mr. Sanjay Jai now, see the yeah, action sir. and the body language of Mr. Vadra yesterday, which has been displayed by your channel just now, is 
highly condemnable it attributes a highly arrogant attitude and the defense being given by mr sanjay ja to say the least is equally shameless if not more than that i am surprised and shocked Please to hear him saying that see the speak humiliating on facts don't use words like Robert shameless Moda. they apply to you, you and your party and mr. your government mr sanjay ja please stop it now No, no, don't please use, don't please, use don't use pedestrian language don't use don't use pedestrian language you are trying don't to use find cheap a language who has insulted speak the speak in a proper dignified a english who has insulted the speak media speak in a proper dignified english defense. I am no, again no. repeating okay, the okay, words. Okay, okay, sure. You want facts? You want facts? Mr. Sanjay Jha, I think Mr. Robert Mr. Robert Mr. Robert Mr. Please let's talk about facts. Yes, sir. Yes, I think you must tell this BJP person the elections are over. They have won the election. Please conduct yeah. some dignity. Said, can I? Wrongly yeah. said. He is talking about. That Supreme he, Court has dismissed the charges against Mr. Vatra. Can you cite even a single court judgment where charges have been dismissed? Supreme no, 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 we'll, 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 we'll I, I don't, I don't, Mr. Satyapal Jain, we, that's a separate debate altogether, but we are keeping here He's to the facts of the case of yesterday. Smita Prakash, what was this unprovoked aggression that your reporter allegedly but, but, displayed, which turned a humble, uh, full of humility Mr. Vadra into what we eventually saw him do on camera? You know, you know, I, I, Padmaja, I don't know why are you going around in circles. Yeah, you know, here? I, I can't. Why are you I going around in circles? I can't for the life of me understand why, why the Congress people are talking about non-dignified language. Who used the word idiot? Was my reporter using the word idiot? Was my reporter the one who shoved uh, the mic down? Was my reporter the one with uh, aggressive uh, security guards around him? No, he wasn't. He asked in. He asked a question. If, the, if Mr. Vadra did not want to answer, he just needed to move away and say no comments, which Mr. Jha. Has done in the 